Top 3 MP5 builds in Escape from Tarkov from budget to best. What can you do in Escape from Tarkov with the MP5? What is worth to play? Let's start right with the video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today we are talking about my 3 budget to best opinions about the MP5 build in Escape from Tarkov right now. You guys know I like the MP5 and in my opinion you should definitely try the MP5 because it is great to run, it will help you a lot and grab a BO2 as always or something else and let's jump into the video. So let's start with the most budget one and a lot of guys have problems with the MP5K but in my opinion the MP5K brings you a lot of fun because it is hilarious to play the MP5 with a 30 round or even a 50 round magazine. So with the MP5K you're running into dorms or into the crack house, you make a mech dump and everything is clear basically and after that you can drop your MP5 and grab something else. That's how you can play the MP5K and you don't need a scope for example, you can play it with a scope and it only costs you 200 bucks from Peacekeeper and that's not that much. You can buy it quite early on and I would really recommend just try it out. It's great against Scav, Scav boss or sometimes even player. The next better version is a normal MP5. It's not suppressed because it's a bit cheaper. I would recommend the HKA2 stock. It's a little bit better over here. So let's talk about the rail. I'm using the HKCAA rail. It is the most expensive one, most expensive. This will cost you 18 grand. It's not that much in my opinion. The stats from this rail are really good. Minus three recoil and plus 13 ergonomics. Further, you have two alternatives. The PTR tri rail, which will also cost you 70k on the flea. And these are flea market prices, so almost everybody can buy these attachments if you're level 10. But from the trader, it's almost cheaper. So the PTR rail also 17 to 16k on the flea market, 10k trader price. And the TL99 8k, I guess, will cost you 9 to 10k on the flea. And you need, the minimum is the TL99 that you can mount a grip on the MP5, which will help you a lot. And the thing is how attachments or recoil attachment works in Escape from Tarkov right now is they will add the percentage directly onto the gun. That means that even the RVG, which has a minus two recoil, is good because the base recoil is not that great in Escape from Tarkov for the MP5, which is good, of course. You don't want to have that much recoil. Furthermore, this build is with the Noves Compensator because I want to show you a non-suppressed MP5 build. The Novesk suppressor is cheap if you can buy it from the trader directly. On the flea it is around 20k. But in my opinion you can spend the 25 to 30k for the Osprey suppressor. This is a great piece of a suppressor. Use it. But if you truly want to run an MP5, go ahead with the MP5 SD. You have to have the scrap metal quest completed and right after you can buy the MP5 from Peacekeeper for around 500 bucks. In my opinion it is worth because as you can see I only put a scope on it, 50 round max and I forgot a tactical light. Of course you should add a tech light to your gun if it's possible and the 50 round max are great with the MP5. Of course you can run with 30 round max, you will have a little bit more ergonomics but this gun is a laser. It is a truly laser firearm, you have 50 round max, the fire rate is okay with 800 rounds in my opinion and that's why I like the MP5 a little bit more compared to the PP19. Your recoil is lower, your fire rate is higher and you have 50 round magazines. So and that's why in my opinion the MP5 is better. All of these facts will help you in Escape from Tarkov right now with the current meta. Of course you can use the normal MP5 and you will get really close to these stats over here from the MP5 SD. But the thing is the MP5 SD is really quiet and I'm in love with this gun. IRL this gun is great, in Tarkov this gun is great. So I would really recommend use the MP5 SD if you can buy it. Otherwise try the MP5K or even a mid build and this will help you save some rubles, complete some quests and hunt some chats down and after that you can drop your mp5. In almost every case you will get it back and this is great in my opinion. So overall the mp5 is a great option right now in Escape from Tarkov. So and of course I really want to hear your feedback about the mp5, write it in the comments below. And furthermore we have a discord especially for you guys because we are Germans, we don't have any sense of humor so that's why we need you. Join our discord ask some questions, meet bunch of people. I hope you liked this video. See you in the next one, guys.